I got you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for taking the time out and paying attention to your synchronicities, watching out for the signs that universe and God is sending towards you to let you know what might be occurring or what you know what paths to take towards your journey so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video also if you feel like you you know uh you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact again and that impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow impact or going through some really dark times and trying to find validation or confirmation towards the life path or you know life journey please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i'm so internally grateful for y'all and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening let me turn this up a little bit so you can be able to hear it um my meditation that i'm listening to is called 12,000 hertz awake the space energy within 872 hertz transform cell into light 432 hertz miracle tone music and i will post that link in the description box below and um the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 Hayoka's hey, awaken the warrior in you i mean yes you i mean it's just the fact is i know there's times where you have been going through so much you've been taking l's like left and right left and right left and right where you feel like you're emotionally and mentally drained at time there's times when you get by yourself probably sometimes at night you you just cry because you're like i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired of going through this i've i've went through that as well and it's just like when i can see there's a lot of times i tell you i see a lot of uh, I have visions of, you know, there's empaths that are just sitting in the long, uh, sitting in a room by themselves in the dark, you know, and just, you know, they're balled up in a fetal position at times and they're crying, you know, because of situations they've been in, and they've been carrying over a load for so long, you know, and it's just the fact is that that can be a sad situation, but you have to let yourself know when is enough going to be enough? When are you going to learn to let go of that trauma? Not, not to be able to hold all that in because there's a time there's times I, i've done it as well and i ask myself how long are you going to just hold on to this it's not doing any kind of good for you to hold on to these things you know being able to let go of the trauma and let it you know basically say i'm not going to let allow this pain to continue having that power over me even if you're letting letting the the people that caused it over you but it's just the situation there are certain times i can mention things to myself and i'll tear up you know so i'm still learning from that so don't think you're the only one be dealing with that for me to be telling you about it obviously if i'm making a video about it these are the things i'm going through as well you know if it's not i am just tell you oh these are the visions that i'm getting and universe and god wanted me to talk about this with you but i'm going through this as well you know there's certain things that you know it's still you know my brain is still comprehending like this has happened to you this is what put you in this moment right here because it's just like it, it has gave me this platform to say you know what i I've, I've dealt with this i'm dealing with this you know but i know i need to let it go you know it's not going to do any kind of good you know it's just going to keep me in that same rotating wheel <laughs> or that rotating door you know like those glass doors you go in the department store and you're still going around it but it's like the more you keep going around and like I tell people, you tend to see very little details that you didn't see before when you went around that the first time. You tend to learn. Every time you keep constantly going through something in that certain space and time that it takes you, it, it allows you to learn something new, something different that you were like, hey, I wasn't able to pay attention to that before. I wasn't able to, I never recognized that before. And I'm seeing strengthen within myself to say, you know what, you know, this, yes, this is impacting me in a certain way, but it wasn't supposed to when that memory comes up. It's just allowing me, you know, when, especially when it comes to, you know, situations and connections with my dad, it just wanted me to allow, you know, look at the love that he had for you. 
when it came to this certain situation. It wasn't coming back up like a past vomit to make you upset or make you sad. It's just letting you know that that's, the strength of that love is still there. That connection is still there no matter what they went through. That love, he never felt different about you. He never, you know, never changed his feelings about you. And that is a beautiful feeling. And I can actually say it and not actually cry about it. So it's like when I look at him, just like, wow, I didn't look at it that way. Because there are sometimes we can be dealing with certain things that has happened towards our past. You know, it can be very traumatic. It can really put you in a bad, dark place. But sometimes those feelings are coming up. Those reoccurring memories will come up just for either for it to let go or for you to be able to see it, but seeing it in a different perspective, seeing it in a different light. What is this situation trying to show you? What is this situation trying to tell you? It's not trying to hurt you. I mean, there's sometimes it, it depends on if it's coming from the heart or it's you know, is the ego playing this little work with you? You know, if it's not trying to, if you can step back out and say, okay, is this coming from a place of love or is it is it trying to teach me something or is this my ego? You have to be able to separate the two, you know? And it's just like lately, it's like, you know, the ego will bring up some stuff and I'm just like, I don't even engage in that because I know it's the ego because it'll bring up certain things when it comes to my family or what they said about me or, you know, what they po try to poke fun of or basically having leverage over me like, oh, I know this about you and you don't know that. You know, I just don't allow that to affect me, you know, because it's just like when people do that, they're, they're showing your insecurities. They're spilling out their insecurities towards you. You know, being able to, you know, because normal people don't do that. <laughs> you know, and I have to keep on telling myself that normal people don't go around hurting other people like that. They don't do that. Especially when it comes to a child and, you know, they can't, you know, it's not your fault about who you came from, you know. So it's just like, I know I was punished a lot, you know, for who I emulated. I emulated my dad like crazy. I acted like my dad, you know, said things like my dad, had that attitude like my dad, you know. And I was punished for it every single time, you know, did certain things like my dad did. And I was hated a lot because I reminded him so much of my dad. But it's just like, it's a blessing to be able to carry on that that energy. You know, when I see, before I used to look at it as a punishment. And I used to get mad saying, you know, I wish things were different. Maybe they would have loved me if I didn't act like him. You know, but if, if it wasn't meant for it to happen, it would have never happened that way. You know, I, 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 I engage in certain things that my dad engaged in. Even if I didn't even know I did that. But it's like now when I look at it, I'm like, I'm glad I did these things. You know, it's amazing that we have that connection, even though I never knew who my dad was at those times, even though I knew we had this connection, but I never knew, even though I act like him. So it's just like I, I, I took comfort in that warrior. And we all have a mess of being a warrior because it's just the fact is you can sit down and tell somebody your life story. They're going to probably look at you like, what the heck? <laughs> you didn't kill nobody. <laughs> you ain't hurt nobody. You know, you probably went through some certain situations that, you know, you're not proud of. But you can show that warrior off in yourself because there's a lot of times you can tell somebody your story, your life story. And people will probably be surprised at the things you come out and tell them. Like, you were able to survive that. You were able to endure that. You were able to come back and tell me you did these things. That lets you know you had that hunger for a fight in you. You know, for you not allow, you know what, I'm not going to let this beat me. Regardless on what these people did to me, I'm not going to allow this to beat me. You know, and you're, you're supposed to feel that way about yourself. Because it's like everybody deserves to be loved. You know, whether it's self-love. When you have that self-love for yourself, you will attract people that will love you the same. You know, because there's a lot of times I've seen people and it hurts my heart that they've been through certain situations and it makes them look at love a lot differently, not in a good way, but in a scary way because of how they've been treated in the past. And I, I always send extra love towards those people because I really feel like, you know, I can feel that loving energy they have in themselves and it breaks my heart because I'm like, you deserve that. You know, and I hope that you can be able to take away that pain that you have endured because of what these people did to you. You deserve to be loved. And it's just like you have to be able to open up and love yourself and then not allow what people have put on you 
to keep you away from being denied that. I really feel that. I mean, I get pissed when I know people have went through that, not at them, but it's just the fact that you put somebody in that situation to make them look at a man differently or make them look at a woman differently because somebody can really be traumatized to that point where they will put a wall up and feel like, you know, they've been through something so traumatic. Like it could have been sexual or wise, any kind of abuse to make them look at a, a, a significant, trying to have a significant other make you look at it in a bad way. Like don't be scared to approach that because they think it might happen again. And you know, you shouldn't have that fear in your heart like that. Because it's just like, if you know you're healing and you're working towards healing that way, you know, you deserve anything. You know, I've, I've dealt with that my whole life. You know, I've been womanized. I've been sexually abused. I've been mostly mentally and physically abused. Any kind of abuse you can put, I done been through it. But I know there's somebody out there for me. You know, I'm, that's why I'm healing myself. You know, I have guys come at me all the time. I have girls come at me all the time. And I'm just like, no. You know, I can give you a compliment, but I'll say I'm not meaning it any past, anything past that. You know, like, oh, Rosalind, there's something in you. <laughs> it might be, but you won't find out. <laughs> you know, I said, no, you know, and it's not that I'm putting up walls. But if I know my heart don't skip a beat for you like that, I'm not about to waste your time. And you're not about to waste mine. You know, there's somebody out there for me. It's just not that person that comes at me. But it's just like that gives me that time to work on myself because I was damaged. You know, I'm not saying I'm damaged good or, I'm, you know, I'm jaded or anything like that. But I've went through so much. It makes me appreciate myself a lot more to not just settle. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm settling for anybody. But, you know, if I feel like, eh, you know, I, I got to have that spark in me, you know, get me excited or something just to talk to you. If I feel that way, I'm like, oh, this ain't going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work. I love you anyway, but I, I just can't see us being together like that. So I'm just like, that gives me enough time to know there's somebody out there for me, but it's just not that person is coming at me, you know, um, because, you know, with us being uh, empaths, we have that attracting energy, like there's something about us that they just can't touch, that they get intrigued about. And there's times just, just like people are like, Rosalind, you don't put yourself out there. I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm not looking for nothing like that right now. It's not the fact that I got walls up. But it's like, I'm working on me right now. I ain't trying to be with somebody because I don't like being alone. That's the wrong type of reason to be with somebody. You know, I'm I want to be with somebody when I know I'm emotionally healed, you know, in all, all different directions. I've seen too many people go through that. I'm not trying to go through something like that. So that's why I work on myself because I feel a lot of people do that because they don't want to be alone. Or, Rosalyn, I'm ready to get married. Are you sure about that? Are you trying to say that you want to be married just for the fact of being married? Or you're saying it for the fact that you want to be alone? Or are you f fully healed in every aspect of your life? Because you don't, you're going to keep on having the same issues every single time you have a relationship and it's not going to last. So when you know you're ready... When you're ready, I mean, I don't be hating on nobody. I said, I already seen that train about the wreck, but you're going to have to find that out for yourself. I can't tell you that. You know, if you feel like you are, hey, but I know what I see when I see you, when you approach me about it, but I'm like, hey, ain't none of my business. They, they got to learn that on their own. You know, that's when the universe says, shh, be quiet. That this, oh, okay. <laughs> but you, when you find that warrior in yourself and say, enough is enough, I've been through this trauma. I'm not going to let this trauma break me the way it was sent to break me. I'm going to let it make me into a person that I never thought I could ever be. Have the strength of 10 men that I never thought I would ever have. And you have that within yourself. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You have been through hell. A lot of hell that was sent to break you in every type of direction. But when you can sit up here and tell somebody about your life story about your life story you know I can tell y'all about certain situations and there are certain situations I'm still healing on I'm not gonna lie about that I keep it real 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 with y'all there's a lot of things I've let go and I seen it for what it was but there are certain situations that I'm still healing on that it might take a little bit of time I'm letting go of it but it's like my mind is processing that at the same time so you have to really really see yourself like I, I refuse to allow these things to to get me like that. I have faith in the universe that I know everything's going to be okay. I'm working on me right now. I already know what's coming <laughs> good, good coming up for me. I've seen the vision. But I'm doing me right now. I'm healing in different ways. So certain things might take a minute. But I'm, you know, I used to get in that point where I get, feel like I need to rush myself. 
So, no, everything is going through divine time and everything is supposed to go where it's supposed to go. But you have to have faith within yourself and faith in the universe. You will succeed. So, I hope you were able to resonate this content in this video. Drop me a line and leave me, you know, your opinion about this. Are you going through this? Are you dealing with it right now? I believe you are that warrior inside that's ready for that fight. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.